Hello, friends. I hope this finds each of you well on this Wednesday in the fourth week of Easter. Each Sunday, when we come together for worship, the church is given appointed prayers. We call them collects. We have a collect for the day. And that collect is meant to collect our prayers and offer them up in common, communal prayer. So when the celebrant says, the Lord be with you, and the people of God respond, and also with you, the celebrant says, let us pray. And in that moment, we are offering the prayers that we've brought to our public celebration of Holy Eucharist. We are carrying something on our heart, often many things, and we are offering them up in our prayers. And then the celebrant of the service collects our prayers with the appointed collect for the day. And this last Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Easter, we had this prayer, O God, whose son Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Now, I don't know a lot about shepherding, uh, but I understand that shepherds often have a name for each one of their sheep. They know them each by name. But also they can stand at a gate, at a pasture, and tell their flock to, come on, we're going to go to this next place. We're on the move now. The journey continues. And just by speaking the sheep recognize the voice of their shepherd and they follow where the shepherd is leading them. So Christ takes up this imagery. He would have seen shepherds and sheep. He knew the trade. He takes up this image and we come to know him as the good shepherd, the, the shepherd that we can trust in because he's going to move us into new territory, into new pastures that always lead to abundant life, new life, and exceeding joy as our life is joined to his and we are dropped into the mystery of that relationship that he shares with the Father before time and throughout all ages. He brings us into communion with God. So we listen for his voice, trusting, that he's going to bring us into new pasture and do something exciting with our lives. Even if we're scared of it, we may not go running out of the gate following. We might say, I'm good right here, but Christ the good shepherd would get behind us and push us out of that pasture into a new place. Because what he means for us to know is abundant life, fullness, of life, eternal life, even now. And the good shepherd, if we'll listen for his voice, is always calling us into exciting new territory. One of the things I want us to think about just now is in the Christian life, paradoxically, as we are conformed to Christ, which surely is the call, as we walk in his ways, as we let his love wash over us and renew us and transform us, we become more fully who we are called to be in our particularity, which is to say, I become more Zach as I become more like Christ, as I listen for his voice and go where he leads. So it's not so much the stained glass image of a, of a saint or a kind of plastic model of what a saint is, a plastic statue that's lacking a kind of dynamism and energy. But rather the Christian journey, setting out to follow the voice of the good shepherd and go where he leads, is full of excitement and, and joy, even if challenge, real challenge to let go of things that we want to hold on to for dear life but the good shepherd is saying, no, I'm bringing you into this new pasture. And we trust him because he's the good shepherd, drawing us into the divine life where we will know abundant, true 
joyful life. And that as we listen in our life of prayer, through our communal celebrations of Holy Eucharist, through daily office, through reading the sacred scriptures, and importantly, through silence, when we take the time to grow in relationship with our risen Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, when we take the time to grow in relationship with him. And let's be clear, it takes time, just like it does with any other relationship that we have. We have to take time, intentional time, to grow. But as we'll spend time with him, we'll learn more and more to hear his voice. And we'll find greater courage throughout our days to go where he leads. Because we know even if it's a painful journey to go from one place to the next, that Christ is always calling us into abundant life, a deeper joy, and mysteriously making us more and more who it is that we are called to be, as he knows us each by name. O God, whose Son, Jesus, is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads. Amen.